Good morning. Can I just say the hazelnut is probably one of the best smells in the world? It's as good as she smells. The smell of hazelnut brings out very emotions. It's good. It's very good. We are making coffee on February uh, 5th. And what can I say? It's a coffee kind of morning. Nah. Nah. Today's creamer of choice. International Latte Vanilla Bean by Maxwell House. Can we just introduce everything with one word? It would be the word hello. I would like that. Yeah. Oh my god. If they make hazelnut air fresheners, I'm going to buy some. Oh, it smells so good. Let's drop the K-cup in the Keurig. Keurig. Hey guys, you like my Keurig? It's very nice. I like it. Um, you see, the Keurig is actually a fairly new model. Uh, back in the year 1964, there was, a, there was an early model, but no one likes that model. I want a lot of coffee. You guys want to see me drink a lot of coffee? Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> this is Frazzleberry here. We're doing stuff. We're making coffees. Alright, coffee is brewing. Now what we're using here is a vintage McDonald's Mickey Mouse cup. This was introduced in the year 2000 from the new millennium. I think there's some writing in the back here. It says, Walt Disney World. Celebration Walt Disney World 2000. Yeah, this was a very nice cup. Better view? There we go. Look at this bad boy. I like it. We have a couple of those bad boys running around. The thing about this cup that is very interesting. Generally cups are circular. This cup is actually square shaped. Square shape being probably one of the best shapes in the world. The thing about squares is they can fit a lot easier into places. You know, you have a square shaped cupboard. When's the last time you saw a circle shaped cupboard, right? Alright. And also, can we just say... I tried this for the first time. And is it good? It's pretty fucking good. But you know what I like also? Oh my god. I'm breaking shit. This stuff. Cinnamon, raisin, swirl, peanut butter. Very good. I have a bit of a stomach ache right now. A stomach ache. I've never said that word before, but I like it. I didn't even know that was a word. I think I just made up a new word. Ugh, he's on that. My day offs are weird. Can we just say that? Making that coffee with my Keurig. My Keurig is a fascinating product. <laughs> now, to be completely honest, I got this Keurig for free, and I'm I'm curious if it's even if it's good or not because the coffee to me it tastes decent but at the same time it feels like maybe there's something wrong with it like maybe it needs to be very deep cleaned or something or something but like it's it's good coffee nonetheless don't get me wrong it's just I feel like I don't know, maybe it's the K cup I'm using or something I don't really know I'm hungry too, I don't know what I want to eat. 
So, hey, what have I been doing? You might be wondering. Well, I beat Rune Factory. Now, I probably should have said this in my Rune Factory review, but... Rune, the reason Rune Factory is good is it's portable. It's fast. You can do a lot in a short amount of time. And it's very satisfying to do that in game. Um... And the thing about Rune Factory on the Wii. Also, I'm using almond milk for my. Uh, creamer, too. Um, the thing about Rune Factory on the Wii is it's so fucking slow. Holy shit. Like, I'm gonna make a comparison one of these days. Well, if I had a computer that could function as a video editor. Editor, yeah, it would, but I don't. God, this coffee looks so good. If you ever made a coffee that just looks so good that you want to just drink it immediately, but you can't because it's so hot, can't do that because you might want some oil. Yeah. We're going banana bread oatmeal, and we're going maple bread. Let's get a bowl. Can I just say that my family reuses Cool Whip bowls? What I'm gonna do is also cut some apples and bananas for this bad boy. Right, oatmeal is ready. Goes into the microwave. For one minute and ten seconds, we do that. Go into the fridge, open it up. Grab an apple. Go a little apple. Eat. Eat. <laughs> you guys like my little baby apple. It's very good. Banana. First things first, we need a good knife. This looks like a very good knife. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh, yeah. What I've been doing is just cutting out the middle piece and throwing the middle piece out because. I don't like the idea of apple seeds. If you look at apples, um, the core is actually extremely square shaped. So if you get rid of the square shaped. Oh god! I just yelled the cat's name there, but there actually wasn't a cat that did that. That was just natural occurrence. I don't know why the cupboard just decided to. Uh, Knock bowls out of this or did. Did you guys hear about that guy who ate a bunch of apple seeds and died? Yeah, that was bad. That was the year 1946, actually. That was a bad year itself, but, you know, this event itself just changed everything. Um, the source of the story is Angelique Lahonhon. 
She's a fascinating news reporter, up and coming, of course. Very indie. She's worked on a couple underground magazines you've probably never heard of, but at the same time, you know, she's very promising. I like her. I like her a lot. Let me do that. Alright, let's get that open. Now, one of my big problems with fruit is I always add too many things into my oatmeal. So what we're doing, and there's nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. It's just what I'm going to do today is add only half of the fruit.